All right, what is up guys? Your friendly programmer here back with another video. Today, we're going to be building the handler class. This is a very important class and it's going to be where all of our game objects are held. So we want to have a single data structure that holds all of our game objects and we want to create a class so that we can access those game objects. This tutorial video won't be too difficult to follow. Um, however, this is a very crucial class and so it's very important. Um, or it's a very important component to, to a lot of games. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is create a class in the com.game object.util package. So let's go ahead and right click this package, click new in class, and let's go ahead and name this handler. So handler.java. And let's go ahead and finish. Okay, so now we have our new class. And let's start by creating a data structure called link list. So our data structure um, called list. So list game object game logs. And let's go ahead and import these. So we just hover over them and click import. And so what a list is, is exactly what it sounds like. So it's a list. And in this case, it's a list of game objects. So this data structure holds a bunch of game objects. And we want to create a constructor for this handler class. So let's go ahead and do public handler. And let's do game objects is equal to a new link linked list game object and let's go ahead and import this link list so what we're doing here is we're initializing this game objects um, list reference or this list yeah this list reference to a new link list. And what a link list is, is you can also think of it as just a list of objects, in this case, game objects, and they're just linked together. So when you want to iterate through the list, you can go from um, one game object to the linked next game object to the next linked game object and so on and so it's just the way that the list is created um, and below this we want to do public void tick and in here we want to do a for game object object and game objects and in here we want to do obj dot tick. So what this does is, um, oh, we want to do tick. So what this does is it loops through our list. So for each object in our game objects link list, we're going to do the following. Um, object dot tick and so we're just if you call this tick method here it's going to update or it's going to tick all the game objects in this game obs list and below this we want to do public void render graphics g and let's go ahead and import this. So hover over it, click import. And we're gonna do a for game object obj game objects. 
and we want to do obj render and we want to pass in the graphics here and so this is very similar to this tick it's going to do a for loop through all the game objects and for all the game objects we're going to run this render um, function and below this we want to have a couple supporting methods for this class that we can add things and remove things from this game objects list. So we'll go ahead and do that. Public void add obj game object obj. And in here we want to do game obj's add obj. And below this we want to do a public void remove obj game object obj and here we want to do game obj's dot remove obj and to explain what these do so when you call this add obj method you're going to pass in an obj um, object and it's basically going to add that game object to the the game objects list so it basically adds it to um, the list of game objects and this remove object it just removes whatever object you pass into here so these are supporting methods to allow you to add and remove objects from our list and finally we want to do a public list game object and get game objects and here we want to do return game obj's so this is a getter method to get the list of game objects And let's go ahead and remove some of these white spaces and save that. And now we want to go back to our, our game.java class. And we want to go ahead and add our new handler um, class that we, that we just created. So let's go ahead and do that. So under the game components comment, let's go ahead and do private handler handler and let's go ahead and hover over this and import it okay so now we want to go ahead and initialize that so let's go ahead and do that in our initialize function so right up here let's go ahead and type in handler equals new handler and now we just want to update our um, tick and our render methods. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and call our newly created tick method, which will tick through all of our game objects. And let's go ahead and update our render method as well. So let's do handler.render. And let's go ahead and pass in the graphics um, object from up here. And let's go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and run this to make sure this runs properly. So, yep, so it builds with no issues. So that looks good. And um, I, I know there's nothing really new that you're seeing being displayed. But once we start creating our game object, our, our player object and our enemies, you'll start seeing all of this stuff come to use. So just be patient. Um, in the next couple episodes, we'll be getting to that. But um, thank you so much for, uh, for tuning in to this uh, episode. I hope you learned a lot. Um, please like and subscribe this video and if you have any questions feel free to add them in the comment section below and 
as always, I'll get to them um, as soon as I can. So with that, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.